Hi, I'm Charles Dellingpole. I'm the founder and CEO of Comply Vantage. We're the leader in AI-driven money laundering and risk detection um, for all kinds of fintechs and banks, payment companies here at MyTrain20 in June 2022. So Comply helps companies comply with ML, re ML, ML regulations, principally when they're going fiat to crypto on and off ramp. So when you have a bank account and you move the money to the blockchain, that's the critical place where you can stop money laundering. So really, um, that's the biggest challenge and that's where we help. Um, we have a database of um, 15 million high-risk people, companies, money launderers, terrorists, and we can use that to vet where the risks are. I think there's been a huge numbers of scandals in crypto in the past few months. First, we had the collapse of Luna and Terra, so the, 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 the well-known stablecoin. Um, so central banks, governments are very concerned about that because lots of people are now impoverished. Um, then we had the Russian invasion of Ukraine and you had many oligarchs and Russian companies trying to exfiltrate funds via crypto. And finally, you have the ever-changing problem of money laundering and terrorist financing. So since they won, the regulations of crypto have been very, very lenient. So you've had the kind of equivalent of unnumbered Swiss bank accounts for crypto. Um, and regulators around the world are now cracking down upon that and demanding much more stringent regulations. So that's where my advantage hopefully will help out is being able to stop the, the, the issue around money laundering and terrorist financing. The crypto firms know that much more stringent regulations are coming very, very soon. Crypto firms around the world are spending millions and millions of dollars on lobbying because they know the current regulations are very, very favorable. So I think there's going to be a number of different regulations um, that will come into play from the ending of unnumbered, um, unhosted wallets to much more um, stringent checks on transactions um, and um, finally the implementation of the travel rule. So currently it's very challenging to know when money moves from one wallet to another, precisely which transaction, which, which underlying entity that money is going from and to. So I think um, crypto firms will have to play by the same rules the banks have had to play by for the past 50 years. One the exciting thing about being in a crypto compliance team is the constantly changing environment. So in the past two years, we've had things like Web3 and DeFi and NFTs constantly explode. Every single new innovation can be used for some sort of new form of money laundering and terrorist financing. Um, with NFTs, you had this dynamic known as wash trading, whereby two people can exchange a bored ape and claim that millions of dollars has been transferred. Um, also with DeFi, there are all kinds of ways that money can be transferred between entities, money can be layered between entities, so you don't really know um, who the underlying owner of the asset is, how much money has been transferred. So I think um, to keep up with these, you, you, you really need um, a fast moving team that, that, that's really able to invest heavily in the underlying technology and data. I previously started a fintech company and I was the designated money laundering reporting officer. And the thing that really concerned me was the risk of going to jail. And that same risk is there now for crypto firms and their teams. So at worst, you can go to jail. Um, slightly less worse is being fined millions or billions of dollars. Um, but even worse probably than that is the, the risk that your clients leave you because they're disgusted or affronted by the level of money laundering that, that's going on. Um, and aside from that, lots of companies really struggle with the very slow pace of onboarding. So there's a real balance between being able to not go to jail, not pay huge fines, and at the same time, not have huge operational costs from um, taking a long time to diligence clients. Um, yeah, so super exciting times at uh, my advantage. Um, we're now 410 people, we raised the million dollars. We have one and a half thousand clients. Um, we're hiring the best people from all over the world, um, constantly launching new features. We've launched a new rules builder for our transaction monitoring system. We're constantly launching new data sets and new machine learning models to help catch um, criminals and people who have been involved in adverse media. So I think, yeah, I think um, the only constant is change. I got my advantage.